Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'll be showing you how to make a magic loop. The materials I'll be using today are a ball of wool, a crochet hook, I use a darning needle to weave in my ends, and I've got my scissors. I use circles for a lot of my designs. Most of the animals have a circle for the beginning of their heads and bodies. There are two different ways I use to make a circle. Often I'll use chain, normally about four to six chain, and join with a slip stitch into the first chain. That makes a circle. And the other way is a magic loop, often called a magic circle. With a magic loop, it makes a nice even circle, and you can pull it as tight as you like. So we'll get started. So I get my yarn and I put my hook on top of the yarn and then I bring the end over the hook and then under my yarn. And I've got a circle. I normally leave quite a bit of a tail depending on how big the circle has to be, how many stitches I'll be crocheting into the circle. And then I put my yarn over the hook and I bring my hook in to the circle like that. And that's the magic loop done. Now I'm going to work some double crochet into my circle today. So I'll start with three chain, which is for the first double crochet. Now holding my circle like that, quite tight, I'll work my double crochet. I put my hook over the two loops to bring it up, so I'm going to work over those two lots of yarn, like that. I just work my double crochet into the circle and I'll pull it tight when I've got enough double crochet. Now just make sure I'm working over the, the two lots of yarn. And when I've got the desired amount of double crochet, I take hold of the tail and I pull it tight And then I work a slip stitch into the top chain. So just in there, I just pull my yarn through and work a slip stitch. And that's the magic circle and the first row done. And that's what it looks like on the back. Now there's a the magic loop finished with one row of double crochet around it to make a circle. But you could work any stitch you like into a magic loop. When you're finished, with a darning needle you'd weave in your ends into the back. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.